reservoir lacks in a lot of structure to support fisheries, particularly recreational fish such as bass, pike, walleye, sunfish, those types of species. So we tried to create habitat along this 120 meter section of beach by installing log crib structures. The idea is to, to try to replicate a broken down 200 year old dock that was made of log cribs. So there's a lot of voids, a lot of space that fish can get in, get find protection, find ho homes, um, and added a lot of rock to that to support the structure, then added some fallen timber, again, to try to promote little areas for small fish to, to find refuge, and then deeper areas where larger fish can also be found. The process began by constructing cribs on the shore, log cribs that looked kind of like log cabins with voids between the logs, so not tightly put together, were constructed in 8x8 eight eight sections. From there, they were brought down with an excavator to the water and set in the water. Completing the project, in addition to the rock, the timber cribs, we're going to be creating spawning beds uh, with gravel along the shoreline. Um, and then finally completed, aquatic vegetation is going to be added this fall, hopefully by transplanting other materials nearby or uh, purchasing aquatic vegetation and getting school children to, to plant them. So today we're putting in some three-quarter inch round stone to provide some spawning areas for the fish species in this lake. Funding for this project was provided by four different agencies. Uh, primarily Fisheries and Oceans Canada was the main funder, London Community Foundation was a funder, and Middlesex Stewardship Council was the third funder. The Upper Thames River Conservation Authority also put a lot of in-kind time and manpower into, into the project. 